Back in ETV. Hello, and welcome back to Balcony TV Los Angeles. I'm your host, William Reed, and today we're on top of Live Nation in sunny Hollywood, California. Joining me is The Lighthouse and The Whaler. Thanks for being here, guys. How's it going? Thanks. Good. So what are we playing for us today? Uh, the song, I Want to Feel Alive. I Want to Feel Alive by The Lighthouse and The Whaler. Take it away. To see it all at the end with my conviction. For now, I contemplate what it is to grow in vision. I want to feel alive. I want. You just heard I Want to Feel Alive by The Lighthouse and The Whaler. Guys, that was fantastic. Oh, thank you. Well done. Well, this is the lead single off of your latest and third album, correct? Correct. Titled? Mont Royal. That sounds a lot like Montreal in French. Yeah. Is that right? It is, yeah. W w why, uh, where, where did that title come from? Um, well, we uh, went up to Montreal to make this record. And cool. um, when we were there, the apartment we lived on was on the street Mont Royal. And Montreal is actually the like mountain. It's not really a mountain. It's more of like a really large hill, but it's like in the center of Montreal, and it's what the city's named after. Sure. Um, and so we went to breakfast one morning. We were kind of just hanging out, talking about what this record like meant to each one of us, and just what it was like to to make it towards the end of the recording process. And um, Mark actually was sitting next to me. We were looking out the window, and he's like, "Dude, we should name it Montreal." Looking at the street sign, and uh, it kind of just stuck. And uh, yeah, that's that's where it came. Well from. done, Mark. So what was the recording process like um, in a big city, in a culturally rich city, in a foreign country like that? Um, did, it, did it change, you know, the, uh, the initial kind of process that you guys had outlined prior to? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, it was really cold. Yeah, we did it, it, it gets pretty cold in yeah. Canada. So we, uh, 
we were in the studio all the time, basically. Like, we were either at our apartment, like, just hanging out in the evenings or in the studio for, like, 12 hours a day. Um, and I think our producer, Marcus Paquin, who recorded the record with us, just made the experience so fun and, and exciting and just kind of, like, was never afraid to try anything, uh, try something new that maybe we were like, oh, let's do this, you know? Sure. So um, it was really a, a unique experience for us making the record there. Um, Wonderful. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, you're originally from Cleveland, Ohio? Correct. And going back even further, you guys are originally a three-piece uh, folk trio. Yeah, pretty And much. then it's transformed into a kind of a rock quartet. Yeah. Five-piece when you're on the road. Correct. Uh, let's talk about that transition from folk to rock. Um, what was kind of the catalyst there? Um, I think it was really just this, like, unquenchable desire to make the sound bigger. Um, I always really wanted it to, every time we would make a new record or a new song, I always felt like we could do more. We can like layer this deeper. We can put more into these songs to make it so that there's like these tiny little pieces that are floating throughout that people can grab onto that right. maybe like on the third time through, they're like, whoa, I didn't even realize that was in there. Sure. So, well, you definitely accomplished this, that. Oh, great. Um, so, so what's in store for the rest of uh, the year and, uh, 2016, what can your fans expect? Lots and lots of touring. Um, We'll be out on the road a bunch, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, um, you know, start working on some new music, too. And, uh, yeah, I think hopefully we'll be able to see our fans out on the road. That's that's what we're looking forward cool. to. Cool. Well, I know they're looking forward to it as well. Um, so uh, let's talk about your tour really quickly. Sure. Uh, what are some of the highlights this far? Well, yesterday we played in San Francisco, and that was pretty amazing. It's a rad city. Yeah, it was great. The, the crowd was fantastic, and just the way that, it all came together and the energy that they gave us and right. hopefully the energy we gave back. It was just, it was special. It was it's cool, show. but it's not as cool as Los Angeles is what you're saying, right? Basically. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. So, um, now is this your first time in Los Angeles? No, no. We've been here right. quite a few times. Okay. So. And how do you like it? Oh, I love it. Do you it's, wanna th it's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's 93 degrees out. That's nice. Yeah. Right? I mean, whatever, dude. You don't it's get not that Montreal, you know, negative 22. So. Right. Okay. Cool. Good. Um, well, uh, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find us at the lighthouse and we're all the Whaler, the Lighthouse and the Whaler dot com. Sorry, the Lighthouse and Whaler dot com, um, or any uh, social media sites using T L A T W is our handle. T L A T W on Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook Twitter. yeah, the whole nine yards. Are you guys so. on Snapchat? We are. Awesome. We regularly snap the chat, man. Great. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations on the new album, and good luck thank with your you. tour for Balcony TV Los Angeles with the Lighthouse and the Whaler. This is William Reed signing off. Back in ETV. Uh -huh.